wonder what's past this. You've arrived in the nick of time, saintly adventurer. I've been trapped for so long, I dare say I'm half mad! Ho ho! <laughs> Thank you for sacrificing yourself to save me. Such courage brings a tear to the eye. Touching the lamp seemed to satisfy a condition to the magic trapping the djinn. You realize what this must be. Imprisonment. One of the most powerful incantations a wizard can cast. You may be stuck here indefinitely. I sense your deep in thought, my brave new friend. Do not fret. Until another takes your place, you will have all the time in the many worlds to ponder. Toodles! <laughs> Freedom, sweet nectar! How I missed you. Oh, my rescuer left behind a servant. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. I'm sure you're at your wit's end without your master. Companion? Oh, I see. Sale of the flesh is an admirable trade. I'm sure you'll find another benefactor. However, should you wish to trade places with your companion, simply touch the lamp. Now, I must be off. I'm a century late for an appointment. Doodles!
over, then through. and sorting of scroll work, parchment, and tomes. room for more. No entry to vaults. Trespassers will be disintegrated. Master Laroca. Step carefully. There's a trap. has little to feel sorry about. The Roacan would have inflicted a far worse fate on her given the chance. to the Elminster Vault. Trap. 
rock here by the path to the Casas vault. And after wizards, there's Ramity, Elminster, Silverhand, and Casas. The animals must be behind his door. you read in the codex echo in your mind guiding your eyes safely across the page the once indecipherable glyphs now feel dangerously familiar promising unholy power to those who can take it The once indecipherable glyphs now feel dangerously familiar, promising unholy power to those who can take it. As you pass the strange glyphs, you can feel the book resisting. Ghostly voices whisper at you from the dark, probing and fighting your mind. But your will is iron and you brush past these shades of the past, devouring every secret the book has to offer. You see now life and death are malleable as clay to be bent and reshaped by your will, by your power. But as you close the book, a nagging doubt whispers in your mind. What consequences will there be for calling the dead from their rest? of Carsus. The 
preamble to a civilization's downfall, committed to parchment by the very hand that wrought its destruction. If the crown atop the Elder Brain was truly forged by Cassus himself, this book will confirm it. All we have to do is turn the page. Devil Raphael was telling the truth. There's no doubt. The crown of Carsus is what's controlling the Elder Brain. And this, this is no mere journal. It contains Carsus' original plans for the crown's construction. His designs for godhood. Not exactly. It was what he did with it that sealed his fate. And for a time, that of magic itself. The crown was merely the means. The book states that the crown and netherstones were originally one construct, seemingly sundered at the moment of Carsus's downfall. If we can collect the crown setting and the three netherstones, and with the correct invocation of certain spells and gestures detailed in these notes, I think I could reforge it. Worse, it could be the best thing that ever happened to me, to us. Just think of it. The power of the gods in mortal hands at last. We'd be free of doctrine and dogma, confined only by the limits of our imaginations. I promise you, the gods will never grant us such a blessing, no matter how much we worship and adore them. Some gods may delude themselves into believing they care about their worshippers, but when it comes down to it, we're all expendable. Children to be appeased, not respected. I worshipped Mistra loyally for years, and in that time she granted me the barest sliver of the power I was ready to wield. Even with the fate of the world at stake, she had little more to offer me than the means of blowing myself up at a more convenient time. She's done nothing to help us. Mistra wanted the brain obliterated because of this crown. She fears a world in which such power is beyond her control, ready to be claimed by Carsus's successor. Neither of us can know what truly may be if we don't at least try. Potential is nothing in itself. Just a fleeting dream unless we drag it into the waking world. Please, at least think on it. Powerful as he was, Carsus lacks some advantages I can lay claim to. I know Mistra intimately, and I carry a fragment of the weave itself within my body. Carsus achieved many things, hmm, but he never managed that. A long road lies ahead before the crown comes into our possession. All I ask for now is that you do not dismiss this possibility out of hand. Please, at least think on it. I'm glad you can recognize this for the opportunity it is. Nevertheless, not a step to take lightly. It's our future that I'm thinking of. Can't rely on anyone else to do it for us. For now, we've learned all we can. Whatever comes of this, we cannot allow the crown to be reforged in Raphael's image. A devil wielding the might of Cassus. It would be the end of everything.
Can't keep me out. You've wandered into a forbidden area. Something's on my mind. Welcome back, dear patron. Remember that the great wizard doesn't suffer fools who waste his time. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. Let's get on with it. Welcome, dear patron, to Sorceress Sundries. I am an unperson in service of the revered wizard Lerotum, proprietor of this fine establishment. To browse our wares, say, trade. To provide information about the night song, say, night song. If you are a city official here to collect dues, say, taxes. For all other inquiries, say other. Enjoy our unmatched selection. Welcome back to so the provision of information that leads to the retrieval of the Night Song is worth a great deal to Master Laroican. Do you have information regarding the Night Song? Please proceed upstairs for further instructions. Thank you. Please come again soon and have a magical day. Welcome back to Sorceress Sun. You are not Mr. Marvin Hudd, the collections officer assigned to this establishment. Logic detected. Petition approved. Enjoy. How else can I help you today? To learn more about the search for the Night Song, say, Night Song. To learn more about Master Laroican, say, Laroican. To learn more about my good self, say, Projection. The Night Song is a relic hidden in an underground temple beneath a settlement near the river Chionthar. Master Laroican is offering a considerable sum for the object's retrieval. To truly know Master Laroican is the work of a lifetime. Suffice it to say, he is a powerful, important man whose powers exceed the limitations by which most wizards are constrained. He resides in Ramazith's tower. Anyone bearing information leading to the capture of the Night Song? The great and powerful Laroican offering our humble group an audience. We are honored. 
I am the product of an ingenious bit of magic performed by Master Laroakum. I am blessed with sufficient intelligence to adequately run and protect the shop, Sorceress Sundries. Because Master Laroakum is engaged in important work, I take care of such banalities as speaking with customers. I'm sorry, I didn't understand your query. To browse our wares, say, if you are a city official here to collect dues, say... Seems like a good moment to talk. Aelin seems a little subdued since you came back. Did something happen? You should have seen her before. Before everything. When she'd step off the battlefield. Oh, how she glowed. Literally. But the years... The decades, the, the century have taken their toll. She's seen more hurt than we can dream of. She needs cherishing now. And I'm up for the task. Thank you for fighting by her side. It means more to her, to me, than you know. I expected Nightsong to be overjoyed after killing her fair-haired fool. Instead, she just seemed... tired. No, no, I don't think that's it. She probably just needs some time for it to... sink in. I'm sure she'll be elated soon. <clears throat> Go ahead. Uh. I don't get it. What's got Dame Aelin so down? I, for one, am delighted Laroakan got what was coming to him. I don't know. Isn't that what a paladin of Saluna does? Hope that good old Aelin holy fervor returns to her soon. I don't like to see her looking so uh, lost. Is some. Why, hello, lover. That sounded more debonair in my head, I'll admit. Do you need something? Leave Aelin to her sorrow. Likely the wizard only reminds her of all the other fools past and present who have sought to use her. Let's talk. You smell very delicious, but I will not. Ooh, more. Anything of use? Elminster. Oh, hello, my boy. No, don't mind me. I'm uh, just enjoying a lungful of bull durian <laughs> Yes, a distinctive aroma, though perhaps not one worthy of bottling. 
I hear you've been browsing in the most esteemed of Emporium's sorcerous sundries. <laughs> uh, indulge my curiosity. What wonders did you discover there? I trusted he would be sensible enough to exercise caution in this matter and to seek the truth. By now, you are aware of the evil we are up against. Cassos, this pestilent crown, the very tool with which its eponymous creator unmade an empire and magic itself. Perhaps now you understand what is at stake here, my boy. Though what Mr. asked of you was extreme, it was not without merit, nor demanded lightly. What are you saying? Or rather, what are you not saying? Mr. knows you defied her, Gail. Well, of course she knows. She's Mistra. She bids you come to her holy shrine in the Stormshore Tabernacle. There, she will grant you an audience at last. Mistress willing to speak to me again? Was this your doing, Elminster? She knows what I see in you, just as I know what she sees in you. I was not born an old man. I know all too well what it's like to have a goddess fill your heart with longing. Looking at you, it's like gazing into a mirror that shows centuries long past. The past is the past, Elminster. And the future is, well, still to be decided. By me, not by Mistra. If there is another way, I trust you can find it. It is not in your nature or mine to stop looking, to accept the first answer to any dilemma. Do what you can. Put that mind to work. Trust in yourself. Trust in the weave. If you are willing, trust in Mistra. There is a conclusion yet to be written in this sorry tale, Gale of Waterdeep. And yours is the quill that will write it. Overhearing what Elminster said to Gale. Not every day a god asks for a chat. Hey, maybe I'm invited too. I can be the muscle. So, Mistress requested a chat with Gale. Unusually polite for a god. I do hope it goes well. We've pissed off enough gods already. How can I help? I've often asked myself the same question, but never really found a satisfactory answer. He clearly sees something in me that I can't. The wisdom and intelligence required to overcome almost insurmountable odds, perhaps? All the stupidity required to attempt it. I take it as a compliment either way. You don't get to be 13 centuries old without becoming a sound judge of character. And cheese, apparently. 
I regret many things in my life. Choosing to be here, intact and unexploded, is not one of them. For now, to have a few more days in your company, no. I wouldn't change a thing. Poor Gail. I hope he knows that a goddess abandoning him needn't be the end. I know from experience. Oh, that pointy-headed old fart talks too much. But he has also moved mountains, walked between planes, and dragged himself back from death a dozen times. If he still believes in Gale, the boy should not be overly concerned what his lady love thinks. Goddess or no? Mistra wants to meet Gale. Impressive. The only thing a god's ever offered me is a cold shoulder. The mother of all magic, they say. Let us hope Mistra brings Gale good fortunes. Kid, don't. Someone is here to disturb your rest. Get the hells away from me! Peace, brother. We're here to take you home. The Master needs all seven of us for the ceremony. Come with us and be reborn. We'll live again. Master Cazador has known where Astarian was this entire time. He knew he would return. The right. The Master needs him. He must attend. Oh, I'm well aware of what the Master needs. But don't we deserve better? Better? What do you mean, better? After all these centuries of torment, I know what you all want. More than power. More than to walk in the sun. You want to see him dead. The right of profane ascension will be mine. And he won't see a scrap of its glory. I am going to complete the ritual as the Ascendant, and then I am going to kill him! This is your chance. Stand with me. Name me your new master. We will get our revenge. And you will all live again. His liar's smile spells danger. He knows full well that his kin will die in the ritual. But if any of the bearers of the scar die before the ritual begins, he will lose his chance to perform the rite himself. He needs them to run willingly to their deaths, thinking they stand a chance against their master. I'm doing what I have to. I can't be what you want to see in me. Die in the ritual? Whatsoever are you speaking of? We are going to cheat on death. The master doesn't need to lie to us. 
He controls us. Fully. Why go through the trouble of giving us hope? Because it's more cruel. Shit, we're doomed. All right. What do you need from us? We'll help you. The bonds hold. He owns us. We have no choice. We must obey. Get out of here, Astorian. Before... A mess. Well, at least you've met my family now. What does it matter? There's only six of them, and they are vampire spawn. No one ever looked out for me. No one ever said a kind thing to me. You're the only one. Other people don't have a heart like you. You're... You. No one is like that. You say, as a mind flayer for all who spends their lives sorting out other people's problems. But... Perhaps there's something in what you say. Those 
vampire spawn came for Astarian, didn't they? Lucky for him that we were here to fight them off. Cazador's minions have picked up our trail. For Astarian's sake, I hope this was the last of them. kind of excitement I usually enjoy being woken up for. Still, better than not waking up at all. Or waking up as something else entirely. Very well. 